Welcome to today's video about Internet Insights. Internet Insights identifies outage events by scrutinizing network layer and application layer test results originated from cloud agents or enterprise agents. With over 8 billion daily tests spanning thousands of digital services worldwide, this platform expertly collects and analyzes extensive amounts of test data, allowing for the real-time visualization of outages related to critical public network and application services. These outages can be viewed as standalone events within Internet Insights and also alongside results from other thousandized tests you've set up to help you correlate any performance issues to known outage events. First, we'll look at the overview page of Internet Insights, which serves as a live map of Internet outages. It displays the most recent outages for both network interfaces and applications. This map allows users to swiftly assess whether a current outage affects the providers they rely on for their network or critical applications. Network outages are represented in red, while application outages are displayed in purple. The node size corresponds to the scope of the outage. At the top of this overview page, you'll find filter selectors and time range selectors. First, we have the outage type filter with network and application options. Then you have the outage scope selector with two choices, all to access the complete data set of internet outages and with affected tests, to see outages related to tests created within your organization. Internet Insights offers a selection of seven provider types, content delivery network providers, DNS providers, infrastructure as a service providers, internet service providers, software as a service providers, security as a service providers, and unified communications as a service providers. These providers are further categorized into four geographic regions, North America, Latin America, Europe, Middle East, and Africa, and Asia Pacific. You have the flexibility to filter your search based on location, provider type, specific service, or company name. The time range selector allows us to choose a time range up to 24 hours. The summary block provides an overview of the total outages, their respective locations, the counts of affected tests within your account group, and any associated alerts. When using Internet Insights, you can purchase one or more package licenses, each granting access to a specific package, for example, North America ISPs. The number of licenses you buy corresponds to the available packages. Licenses are not bound to a fixed package. You retain the flexibility to switch the associated package at any time. The quantities of purchased and available licenses for a package are visible in the top right corner of the Packages tab within the Catalog Settings page. You're permitted to make changes to Internet Insights packages daily, with the daily limit equal to the number of Internet Insights package licenses you've obtained. A change translates to a single on-off event, such as turning off one package and activating another. Should this daily limit be exceeded, further package changes are restricted until the following day. It is important to note that daily signifies a rolling 24-hour window, commencing from the time of the most recent change that resulted in the daily maximum being reached. Thousandize allows these changes to accommodate shifts in your long-term visibility needs, but it is advisable not to rely on this capability for frequent alterations. Now let's look at catalog settings. A package is a collection of Internet Insights providers with the same provider type and region. Customers license a package to display outages involving any of the providers included in the package. An example of a package would be Asia-Pacific CDN providers, which includes a list of providers like Amazon CloudFront and Akamai, specific to the Asia-Pacific region. The package list provides a range of details about each package. Data type indicates whether the package contains network, application, or both data types. Additionally, you can view the provider type, which describes the category of providers, the region, which specifies the geographic coverage of the package, and the number of providers included in the package. You can use the slider to enable or disable the package. Let's select one of the packages here and explore the information available. Coverage maps offer details regarding the contents of each package or provider region. This example illustrates a coverage map for the package labeled Asia Pacific CDN Providers. As a selected data type is network in this context, the data set accessible from this page pertains to network interfaces. You can hover over a location to view interface details. If you have existing thousandized tests for a specific application or provider, consider obtaining additional packages to identify outages beyond the app provider's networks. To search for specific providers, we can click on the Providers tab. We'll search for Comcast in this example. Clicking on a listed item in the Package and Providers tab opens a side panel displaying a coverage map, revealing the networks included and the geographic locations they provide visibility into. You can use this map to inform your package selection. Now let's look at some data from a sample outage. Like other test views, Internet Insights views adhere to a consistent format for presenting data. 
At the top of the view screen, you'll find a timeline for data filtering. You can choose from various metrics, such as affected tests, interfaces, locations, or outages. We can select a specific event on the timeline, focusing on the interface metric. According to the data, it appears that 10 interfaces were impacted by the outages. The topology will display the traffic path and pinpoint the location of the issue. In this case, with Comcast Cable Communications. You can hover your mouse over this area to view provider details, including the autonomous system number. Next, you can click on the provider experiencing the issue. Upon doing so, the topology will expand and reveal all the affected domains and interfaces. The outage scope option allows you to filter by all or with affected tests, enabling you to focus on outages related to your specific tests. The network filter permits you to search and select one or more networks by name or by autonomous system. You can also apply additional filters across various categories. If you choose the Network Outages view in the Topology tab, you'll be presented with a path visualization. In this visualization, nodes represent networks or locations, with sources positioned on the left and targets on the right. By default, sources are presented in an aggregated form by country. However, you have the option to group them based on various criteria such as location or origin network agent. Additionally, you can group them based on interface or destination details. The Map tab displays the outages and provides a summarized overview of outage information. The Table tab presents outage information in a tabular format. Click on a network name to access detailed information about the outage. The Application Outage offers a perspective focused on applications, providing insights into the status of commonly used SaaS companies and other services. The menu and data presentation are similar to network outages differing only in the available data metrics. Metric options for this include affected tests, servers, locations, or outages. For the outage scope, you have the choice of all or with affected tests, allowing you to narrow down application outages to only display those impacting your specific tests. Additionally, the application filter enables you to select one or more application types or specific applications based on their domain, with primary categories such as collaboration and messaging, communication, e-commerce, and more. You can also search using keywords. The Application Outages Topology tab visually represents the traffic flow between agents and destinations. In the standard default view, thousandized agents are organized by country based on their origin or location. Let's select an outage on the timeline. As previously mentioned, this grouping is based on country. The information indicates a significant number of agents across various countries experience issues while trying to access Twitter during this specific time frame. By hovering over a country, you can view the count of agents within the country and the type of outage error they encountered. You can also hover over Twitter to provide details on the number of affected servers at Twitter and the number of tests impacted. For more in-depth information about a specific agent or further details, click on the agent and then you can see the agent's city location and name. The Map tab displays a map featuring the outages and summarizes the outage information. In this specific instance, the impacted server, Twitter, and the affected locations are indicated on the map. The table presents various information in a tabular format, including host name and domain, start and end times of the issue, duration, error types, and more. For more in-depth information about the outage, click on Twitter to see the details of the affected servers and other error details. You can also employ alerts and dashboards to keep an eye on outages. We have a default alert rule for Internet Insights outages, ensuring that administrators receive notifications whenever there is an application or network outage. You have the option to receive notifications for all outages, or specifically when a test is affected. Additionally, you can customize the alert rule by specifying catalog provider details. Thousandize also has a built-in dashboard to use with Internet Insights. To check out the default dashboard, go to Dashboards and select Internet Insights built-in from the top menu. The Internet Insights built-in dashboard comes with a few different elements. A seven-day overview of network and application outages, information about the biggest outages in the last 30 days, a breakdown of which tests are affected, the My Affected Tests widget lists your affected tests separately for application and network issues. The Affecting My Tests widget shows provider or application names and how many tests are affected, also separately available for application and network outages. Lastly, there's a widget that shows locations that are currently experiencing outages. And that wraps up today's video on Internet Insights. Thanks for watching.